is their name. They've just passed the University of Cambridge Advanced <laughs> Maths A-Level, and you've guessed it, they're just eight years old. And they're here now with Dad Chris and Sister Samantha, who's not half bad at maths herself, I have to say. Thanks very much, Dee, all of you, for coming in. Thank you. First of all, congratulations. You are now the world record holders for <laughs> getting the... You are the youngest people ever to attain such an achievement. Well, very, very well done. Were you surprised when you heard that? Yeah. You were. <laughs> you knew you were going to do well, though, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. How hard have you been working? Um, well, I um, find it as a game, so it's not really hard. Oh, you thought it was a... you treated it as a game? Right. Yeah. Now, w tell me about the sort of things you had to do in this exam, Peter. Um, well, we had to, um, look at some questions that may seem difficult, but, um, but very easy once you, um, just uh, get in the swing of it. Just uh, well, they clearly are for you, <laughs> me and Penny. But uh, anyway, I, I, I take your point. But I think I'm right in saying, Samantha, because you you did this. How old were you when you passed your advanced uh, maths? I, I was nine. You were nine, so mm. they've beaten your record now, yeah. right? But it's it's not just about you know taking your calculator into into the classroom as you mm. can do these mm. days, or adding up, or multiplying, etc., et or even doing algebra. It's about mathematical reasoning. Yes. What is that? It's uh, like. Well, you, it, one of it is kind of like using the process of elimination, so you don't have to think as hard as you would do in an A-level paper. Uh -huh. um, so you could say three of the questions were right and one of them is wrong. Mm. So if you work out the first three and they're right, then you know straight away that the last one will be wrong. I guess it's about really understanding maths, isn't it? That's what yeah. it's about, rather yeah. than just you know, doing, adding up or multiplying or even doing algebra. It's about understanding why, which I never got to grips with. I was <laughs> so bad at maths, they wouldn't even let me sit my O-level, because they said it was a complete waste of time even trying, right? You are fantastic. How do you explain this? Are you and your wife good at maths? Oh, oh, no, I'm not a mathematician. Not as my wife, but the, the, the big sisters uh, like playing the number games, like uh, Peter was saying. Yeah. So they want to outdo each other. So anything that is competitive then becomes something that drives up. So this goes uh, right through all your children? Yes. Everyone is, is good I was enough. very good at competitive apple eating, but <laughs> unfortunately there were no exams in that. No, uh, interestingly, you made, mentioned about algebra. If you look at the bowl of fruits in front of us here, just counting the number of apples, the number of bananas, that's an algebraic um, activity. Yeah. If we take maths out of the classroom and bring it to normal daily life, is less threatening. It can, and it can become fun, as it has yes, done, it, has it for them. Yeah, it, it, it is fun. So to, for instance, they don't follow the nine times table, the normal, the, the way everybody does it. Peter, oh. how, how do you do, uh, so, uh, Paula, how do you do your nine times table? On my fingers. Okay, how do you do it? Do you want to do a quick demo? Um, you put down your first finger, that's why you know that nine times one is nine. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then you put down your second finger and bring up your first finger and you know that nine times two is 18. Um, Very clever, you see. Why did my teacher never tell me that? Eh? I might have done a little bit better. Hey, I tell you what, we've got to leave it there. I think you're going to be coming on later to talk about your, your prowess. Thank you very much, Dee, for being with us. Good to see you all, and congr many congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.